Okay. Get rid of that light. Put a can light right there. Try to get it possibly centered on the door. More than likely new chandelier and new LED spotlight in the foyer. Front dining room, we're gonna put a new fan, no light, and we'll use the light switch or wiring to get us four four inch LED cans in this room. New LED. We're gonna to need to probably put at least three, if not six LED cans, four inch cans in here in the kitchen when we get done. And we're gonna be changing this whole thing out. So it'll end up being two pendant lights hanging over the island that we're gonna be rebuilding a straight island, moving that column straight ahead over and getting rid of this column. So you'll have a little bit of replacing plugs back here. The fridge is going there. The stove or the cooktops going right there, vent hoods there, so all the electricals there. We may have to replace some plugs in some places. All this wiring is here that we'll need for the island. So we should have a dishwasher, sink, trash pullout, microwave drawer built in here. Pantry. This is a little desk nook that we took out that we're gonna build a built-in it would have a door and inside of that would literally be a vertical skinny tall wine cooler built into this. It's got plug there, switch there. So I think it's got everything we need as far as electrical goes. Can light there. This is a laundry. We either be putting a can light there or maybe a little chandelier it could hang down maybe a little bit more to the right and kind of get it centered in the room. All the rest of the electrical is good except for, I think we'll change all these out and put rocker style switches on them versus these toggle switches. Probably everywhere in the house. We'll be putting a new chandelier there. The double oven and warming drawer would go right here. This is a Little small built-in, little butler's pantry, quartz countertop, subway tile going up. We're going to, this is something we need to get rid of this. And over here, I can build the cabinet around that. So I think we could be all right there. But this part here, we got to figure out a way to get that wiring checked up into that wall so that we don't have anything because we're going to, we wanted to build this just open floating shelves right there. Maybe have one wall light sconce up top, above the top shelf of that. This, we're gonna build cabinets to the ceiling. So for the most part, I think all this we can build into it, except for this over here, because I'm gonna get rid of this corner where it won't bump out like that. The cabinet will be just across this back wall. So that wiring, we gotta figure out how to get that tucked up in there so we can just sheetrock over that. In here, I think all the plugs and everything stay the same. Uh, probably be putting a new ceiling fan there. There's one spotlight there. I don't know, it feels like we should have can lights up here, but it is tall, so maybe not. So we may end up having a light kit on that. Um, Everything else, pretty much the same. There's a little, right here, we'll need an LED light there. Here, we'll be changing that light, do a change out, change out the, any plug or switches and stuff that we have. You know, where the switch is on this one. And right here, we put the rocker style. rocker style switches there this is a master bedroom we'll put a little fan no light this probably needs at least six can lights maybe eight four inch can lights in this ceiling master bathroom we'll have two new vanity lights and i got a feeling we're gonna have to probably 
move one of those. That one maybe it'll stay there and that one may have to come to the right because we're going to make this a shorter vanity. We're tearing that out. There's a can light right there that needs to be LED. That's going to need to be water for the shower. Um, my brain tells me that we need another can light right here. There's the bathroom. I'm sure we'll just be replacing a light fixture there. Maybe replacing that fan because they painted everything. So we may just put a new white one in. Need two new LED. Maybe we put six inches in here instead of four. So we make sure we got plenty of light in here when we get done. Master closet. Okay, let's go upstairs. All those need to be replaced. All the smoke detectors in the house. Just plan on new ones. No light in there in the closet. The stairwell, new light. We'll need a new light. Maybe she'll put a little chandelier there. This, she's either gonna keep that fan or we're gonna change that fan out. But that needs to be a can light. That needs to be a new smoke detector. That needs to be a new can light and new smoke detector. This needs to be ceiling fan, four, can, four, four inch can light, new smoke detector. And I wanna get her to get her cable ethernet people out here and find out because every one of these rooms have like six extra plugs with a cat six cabling or something going on. Ceiling fan, four four inch can lights. We're gonna replace all those whole house. And we'll cancel. Whatever we cancel, we're gonna take the plates off, shove it in the wall, and put sheetrock over it, whatever's left. I'd plan on putting new outlets. Just change them all out so everything's brand new and white and pretty. There is no light in that closet. This bathroom, just plan on, we're gonna be changing those vanity lights, putting two new vanity lights in here. I think that's it. We may put a new fart fan, but for sure those two are changing out. We're canceling that door, gonna sheetrock over that. Gotta change that again. Ceiling fan, four can lights. Change out the, the plugs that we are gonna keep and switches that we're gonna keep and we're gonna cancel everything else we don't need. That is the highlight reel. This bathroom, I think they may keep this bathroom the way it is. We'll just change the plugs out so everything matches. But I think that this Possibly they may just keep this bathroom because they had just updated this and we'll see that's it